I'm Andrew Edwards, and you're watching Gear Live. Apple introduced iOS 13 at its WWDC 2019 developers event, and one of the features shown is one that many iPhone users have been begging for for years, dark mode. That's right, beginning with iOS 13, iOS users will have the option of enabling a dark color scheme that works system-wide and across all native apps. In this video, we take a look at how it works and how it looks to see just how much of a difference it makes. What is going on Tech Squad? Andrew Edwards here, Editor-in-Chief at GearLife.com. As I mentioned today, I'm giving you a look at iOS 13's dark mode. This is a feature that a lot of people have been asking for, a lot of people have been begging for, and there's been a lot of hype behind it, especially when the rumor mill started going, saying that iOS 13 would be getting a dark mode. Now, I don't know why people are so enamored with this, I didn't care either way whether a dark mode came or not, but a lot of you guys did. In fact, I put up a poll on YouTube asking which feature you guys cared about most, and it was iOS 13's dark mode. I've got iOS 13 running here on an iPhone 10R. Now, aside from this dark mode video, I will be doing more videos showing you some of the biggest features of iOS 13. So if you don't wanna miss those, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Now, let's jump in to dark mode. All right, first things first, what even is dark mode. Basically, dark mode adjusts the background and foreground colors to make content stand out by changing the bright white background into dark blacks and grays and the text from black over to white. So like I said, iPhone XR here. Let's go ahead and enable dark mode. There's two ways you can do this. First, we're gonna go into settings here. And from settings, we're going to go into display and brightness. And as you can see there, we've got dark mode enabled. So here's light mode, there's dark mode light, dark. And you can see right away the differences. You've got the pale blue with white when you're in light mode and then it switches over to black and gray. So that's one way you can enable and disable dark mode. There's another way you can do it as well and that is from the control center. So you swipe down from the top right here on a 10R and we're going to long press on the brightness control. So as you can see on the bottom left, appearance is dark. You can tap on that and then your appearance will change over to light, so you just switch between dark and light right there in the control center. And that's how you manually enable it, but there's also a way to automatically enable dark mode as well. So let's jump back into the settings app here. And as you can see right beneath the appearance section where you can choose light or dark, there's an automatic option. So we can tap on that to turn it on and you can see the options here. So the option that is currently set on is light until sunset. So that means it'll automatically determine where you are using your GPS location and it'll figure out when sunset is for you. And then when sunset occurs, it'll automatically switch over to dark mode. And then when the sun comes back up, switch back to light mode. The other option, you can tap on it and have a custom schedule where you just tell it when you want light and dark modes to change. So I'm gonna head back out of here and turn off automatic so I can easily switch back and forth for the purposes of this video, but I think what I will do is probably leave it on the sunset mode just to see the difference going forward. Now, one thing that dark mode does do is it can also affect the look of your wallpaper. So I'm actually gonna go into settings here and switch my wallpaper over to one of the ones that is supported by dark mode. So here we go, we can go into stills here and you can see these first four with the little icon on the bottom right, that's the dark mode, light mode icon those four will switch automatically. And you can kind of see, looking at each of those wallpapers on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, what they look like in light and dark mode. So let's switch to this one here. I'm gonna set that, and let's just set that to the home screen. It crashed. I mean, we are on an iOS beta, but it did crash. Uh, let's see, if I go into the home screen, did it take? Yes, it did. So the home screen did take. Now here you can see on the home screen, the orange, the purples, uh, the pink, pinkish, and then in the background it's white. If we switch that up here back into dark mode, as you'll see, background is now dark. So pretty cool, even on your home screen, you have some differences there. Also, as you can see, the color of the dock itself and the color of the widgets, the widgets are all dark. If we switch it up back to light, you'll see the widgets have a lighter background color there. So that's one difference there between light and dark modes. Now the apps also 
can support light or dark. All of Apple's native apps, or most of Apple's native apps, support dark mode right now. Things like weather don't, so if we go into weather, it's gonna have the same background that you're used to in weather. If it's daytime, you're gonna have the bright blue. If it's nighttime, you'll have that darker background in weather. But let's say we went into something like news. Here you can see as we scroll through news, dark background right there. If we switch over to news plus, there's your magazines, dark, black background with gray accents. If we were to switch that up right now, now we've got the white background there as you can see. Let's switch over to another app. Now we're back in light mode right now. Go into calendar. Calendar is usually a pretty bright app. If you open up calendar, you've got basically a bunch of white staring you in the face. Now you can switch that up. Definitely nicer if you're in a dark environment. Now you've got a dark looking calendar. Apple Music as you know it today, here it is. So there you go, you're scrolling through, everything is nice and bright, with the exception obviously of the album art that's gonna maintain whatever color it had in the first place. But if we switch it over to dark mode, now you get Apple Music nice and dark. And again, I can see why some people would prefer dark mode. I just personally haven't been clamoring for it to be a big feature that I absolutely need to have and can't wait until it shows up on my phone. I really don't care either way. Some people who do care though, they care because if you have an OLED iPhone, so an iPhone 10, 10s, or 10s Max, or obviously one of the new ones that are coming as well, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Max, black backgrounds do end up saving some battery. Apple did not go into this. It didn't give any promises on battery savings that you could expect because it's negligible. But on an OLED display, when you have a black background, any area that is pure black, those pixels are turned completely off. Here, this is the iPhone XR LCD. So when you see black on this screen, there's still a backlight that's on behind that. So you're not really getting battery savings on a XR. But on an OLED, each individual pixel is controlled individually. And so if it's pure black, those pixels get to be turned off, which means those pixels aren't using any power. So I can definitely see why some people are excited about some battery savings on dark mode as well. Let's head into one of Apple's other new apps. We've got TV here, one of their big apps, the TV app. As we all know, if you've been following Apple news lately, they're making a huge push into TV services. Here's your TV app. If you go in and switch it over to dark mode, you get not a lot of dark mode in the TV app. So the background of the TV app where you see the content is still pretty bright. And what's changed is across the top where it says watch now, and across the bottom navigation bar is a translucent black. If we switch that back up, you'll see the difference here. Now the top and bottom are white and light. So not a lot of difference when you go into the TV app for dark mode, but that's gonna be something you have to expect going forward. Dark mode isn't just for Apple's apps. Developers will be able to add dark mode to their apps as well, but everyone's gonna do it differently and everyone's gonna do it to varying degrees of darkness. Let's go into settings real quick. Let me just tap on settings here. So you go into settings, you get right there, dark, black. This is what an optimized dark mode app should look like in my opinion. So I have some contrast there, not just pure black because having varying contrasting elements on the screen is a little easier on the eyes than just pure black and pure white. Here's the app store, dark mode here, as you can see. Still, again, you have some elements that are gonna be bright, at least on the today page. But as you go through and look at different apps that you can download, things are looking nice and dark. Here's a preview of Apple Arcade, by the way. Switch this over to light mode and it's exactly what you'd expect. Everything is now bright white. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering if the new iPad OS supports dark mode, yes, it does. Here you can see the home screen, swipe up, and we are in dark mode here. You can see the background of the elements over on the left-hand side, and then going into apps like Apple Music, same thing. Nice dark background there as well. Same thing here, dark calendar, dark app store, etc. But now I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think? of dark mode. Have you already downloaded the iOS 13 beta specifically because you wanted to try dark mode? Are you excited for it? Are you like me where it doesn't really matter, you can take it or leave it? Let me know down in the comments below. I'll meet you there for further discussion. Now, if you have any questions about dark mode or you have other things you wanna see about iOS 13, leave those down in the comments below and that'll tell me what you guys wanna know about and inform me of what videos I should be making next. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss them. And if you're really curious, hit that bell icon so you get notified when those new videos drop. Speaking of Apple, if you wanna see my favorite 
HomeKit devices. I did a video recently giving you a look at five great devices that work with Apple's HomeKit. I'll leave a card up here as well as a link down in the description below if you wanna check that one out. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I will catch you in the next video.